As our local community mourns the death of local political icon Tommy Hazuri, City Council in Jacksonville works to figure out how to fill his empty seat. News for Jax reporter Bree Isom joining us live. Bree, you spoke with Council President Sam Newby about this. I did, and he says that there will be a special election in December. Now this will decide who fills his seat, and he says everyone in the county will be able to vote. Jacksonville political icon Tommy Herzuri was in his second term as an at-large councilman for the city when he died. And he covered everything, police and fire, the, the picking, get the garbage picked up, all the issues that you call council members on. Rick Mullaney, the director of the Public Policy Institute at Jacksonville University, says there needs to be a special election to fill his position. It can be no sooner than one month since the vacancy occurred and no longer than six months after the vacancy. Is it going to be a struggle for the city council to operate now that they're missing a member? So city council will be able to pass legislation. Of course, you now have the prospect potentially of an 8-8 vote, depending on what the legislation is. Sam Newby says the city council plans to have the election in mid-December. If we need a runoff, it will be held February 22nd, and, and, and the person will probably be sworn in February 25th. Newby says Hazuri did a lot for city council, so members will be taking over his work. I'm going to take one of his committee assignments and the vice president is going to take the other committee assignment. This election will be conducted by the supervisor of elections office and everyone in Duval County will be able to vote. Reporting live in Jacksonville, Bree Isom, Channel 4, the local station. Bree, thank you. The city has announced funeral plans for Missouri. A viewing will be held Wednesday evening from 5 o'clock until 7.30 at the Hardage Giddens Oaklawn Chapel on San Jose Boulevard. The public is welcome. The funeral will be Thursday morning at 10 at Mandarin Presbyterian Church. That's on Loretto Road. The public is also welcome to that service. Following the funeral, a graveside service will be held at Oaklawn Cemetery.